Hi everyone, I wanted to talk to you today about your visual argument paper. And so what I've got on the screen for you is something that I have shared with you in your folder. So let me get to the folder. So I'm in unit three and you'll see visual argument essay major grade materials. Okay, so everything that you need for this paper is in here. Okay, here's the assignment that I'm going to be looking at right now. Um, the reason I'm talking about this, and I'm not trying to confuse you, I apologize in advance if this is confusing. Um, I gave you the research paper yesterday, or the day, be I'm sorry, this earlier this week, because uh, I know that that one can take students a lot of time, and I wanted to make sure that you had as much time as humanly possible to get a jump start on that. But that one's not due for a month. The one that is due coming up is the visual argument paper. Okay, and so that's what I'm going to talk about today. So by now, you should have seen my tutorial video on the four criteria for a visual argument. And I'm also going to be posting some material on a guided practice and all sorts of things. So um, by the time you're ready to do this, you should be well versed on how to do it. So that being said, let's talk about this paper. So I've pulled up that assignment that I pointed out in the Schoology folder. And basically, I'm not going to read this whole thing to you, but I wanted to basically uh, give you the gist of it. So what I want you to do is I want you to find two advertisements of your choosing. Now, I know in the instructions right here it says two opposing ads, but they don't have to be opposing. Uh, I, I put that in there because I think it makes your life easier if they are opposing so that you can kind of do a compare, contrast, and play them off of each other, but they don't have to be. In my example paper, they are opposing, but again, they don't have to be. You could take two, like... Uh, Ford advertisements to uh, Pepsi advertisements, or you could do Pepsi versus Coke, or Ford versus Toyota, or you know, whatever, okay? Um, and they don't have to necessarily be like a hot button issue or anything like you don't have to do two political ads, although that would also be a really cool idea to do uh, two political ads from two opposing politicians. Uh, that would be kind of cool. Um, you could do like, uh, you know, smoking versus anti-smoking, which is my example paper. You know, whatever you want to do, it doesn't matter to me, just so long as there are two visual advertisements. And you want to make sure that they're not movies, they're not moving pictures, no GIFs, no memes. Make sure that you're not using a meme. Make sure that these are actual legitimate advertisements, okay? So... That being said, you are going to judge them based on the four criteria that we've already discussed. The use of color, the use of space, the use of type, and the use of image. So based on those four criteria, you're going to judge how effective or ineffective these two ads were. So think of it like the rhetorical analysis paper where you looked at an article and you judged how effective the article was at doing what it was trying to do based on the four appeals. Same concept. How effective were these ads at doing what they were trying to do based on the four criteria that we've discussed? So the first thing you need to do is you need to find two advertisements. And then the second thing you need to do is you need to figure out what is each advertisement specifically trying to do. And it could be something as simple as get you to buy a Coke or get you to buy a Pepsi. Or it could be something more like get you to understand the safety features of their new vehicle or get you to vote for this particular politician or you know, whatever it is. Okay. How effective was that advertisement based on the four criteria at getting that mission, that, that message across? Okay, so that's essentially what you're doing. And if you look at this uh, visual argument paper assignment, you can look at this bulleted list of what a successful visual argument essay does. Okay, and you can also, I've 
reminded you about the four criteria. So I want to see a body paragraph for each one of these. So you're going to have a body paragraph for the use of font or type. So uh, you're going to put the use of type, you're going to explain the use of type of both ads in that same one paragraph. Then you're going to talk about the, the layout of the advertisement, both advertisements. Let's say I'm doing Coke and Pepsi. I want you to talk about the use of font of both the Coke ad and the Pepsi ad in this paragraph. I want you to talk about the, the layout of the advertisement for both Coke and Pepsi in this paragraph. The, their use of color in both the Coke ad and the Pepsi ad in this paragraph. The use of graphics or images in this paragraph for both the Coke ad and the Pepsi ad. Okay, And then these are just some other things that you might want to keep in mind as you develop your uh, criteria, as you develop your paragraphs. These are some things that you could keep in mind that might help you. Let me show you my example paper, which is, again, in that same folder right here, visual argument folder. Here's my example paper. I've pulled it up right here. And I'm just going to scroll down to the bottom where I have the ads. At the end of your paper, so here's my paper, and my paper is four pages. And then I have a works cited page. You need to cite your two advertisements. And if you're not sure how to do that, in that same folder, I have included a how-to for citing your arguments, your, your advertisements. Okay, so in my example paper, uh, and, and at the end of your works cited page, on that same document, you want to include a picture of each advertisement. Now, you can put them both on one page. I just enlarged them and put one on each page. It's whatever. It's up to you. So... Here's my example paper, uh, my example ad for the cigarette camel. Okay, and so in my paragraph of fonts, I'm going to talk about the use of fonts here. In my paragraph about the use of color, I'm going to talk about the use of color in this image. Um, in the use of space, I'm going to talk about the layout, the use of space in this image, and then the use of uh, graphic. I'm going to talk about the, the use of graphic in this image and how each of those things was effective or ineffective at getting the point of this advertisement across. In each of those same paragraphs, I'm going to talk about this advertisement, which is an anti-smoking advertisement from truth.com. And again, I'm going to talk about the use of font, the use of layout or space, the use of color, and the use of graphic. Okay, so as you go through my paper and you look at my example, you'll notice that, okay, so first I have my intro paragraph, and in my intro paragraph I have my hook, I have my context about the topic. In my case, my topic is smoking, and then I have my thesis, and you'll notice that um, after my intro, I have basically a very quick summary of what, basically just describing what do these two ads look like. And then I talk about my first compositional feature, which is the type or font. And I talk about both the camel ad as well as the anti ad. And I go into specifics talking about each advertisement, and I pull some quotes. Okay, now, you're not going to have quotes for the majority of this, but I do want to see specific examples. So when I talk about the use of space, I need to see you specifically talk about the use of space. When, I, when you talk about the use of color, I need you to go into specifics about the use of color. When you talk about the uh, images themselves, I need you to go into specifics about the use of images and then give me a conclusion. And then again, a works cited page. And that's your paper. And that's all I got. Text me or um, send me messages on Schoology if you have any questions. And the due date 
is April 6th. Okay?